Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool repeating effect or repeating frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is what the effect looks like right here. As you can see, we go to the next clip right here and then you have this really cool repeating um, frames effect. Now you see this effect multiple times, but I've never really seen a tutorial on how to actually create this effect. So let's kind of break this effect down um, frame by frame, and then I'll go over how to actually create it. So what you want to do is I'll go back one frame right here. So let's start with the, the beginning of the video right here. So let's go start right here. This is where the clip starts. So then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight frames, and then you have this one right here and then you'll go an extra one two frames you have it you have another video right here and then you go one two there you go you have the third video or the fourth video depending on how you look at it and then you basically hold it for like about four frames and then you transition into the um, second clip right here so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project and give you a brief idea of how to create this effect so we'll go to new project and we'll just name this test right here uh, so open up here and then I'll just copy this right here. Um, so I think this effect is more probably be more used as a transition rather than just like a an, uh, just like own loan clip. Um, so what you're going to do right here is I changed the duration of this clip. Obviously this clip wasn't 50, uh, 16 frames, but I changed the duration to 16 frames. So I highly encourage you to start with it at 16 frames right here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold down, we'll click on the clip, you're going to hold down option and you want to create a copy right here. Now this marker, this is where it starts right here. So what you want to do is you want to take this top one right here and you want to make it eight frames. So this is 16 frames, eight frames is the, the first half, there's nothing happening. And the second half, this is when the effect takes place. Okay, so this one is scaled at 125%. So I would encourage you to probably go down by 20%. Um, so let's go to 100. So we'll scale this to 100 right here. What you want to do is you want to hold down option. You want to create another copy. And then what you want to do is you, can, you could get rid of these markers um, if you want. Because this is primarily where the marker starts. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go one, two frames right here. So as you can see, this is six right here. Everything is basically going by two frames. So one, two right here. So this is at six frames. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to create another copy. Actually, before we create a copy, you wanna to go to the scale right here and you wanna scale it to 80%. Of course, those are, those are the numbers that I'm using. You can, of course, change it to your um, desired look. Now let's go ahead and hold on this clip right here. Try to create another copy, there we go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this and you're going to make it hold for two frames. And as you can see right here, this clip holds for four frames and now we're going to change the scale to 60 percent right there so basically you can see right here this clip is 16 frames long then you have a second clip right here which is eight frames long this one six frames long four frames long and the scale of this one is 60 percent 80 percent 100 percent and then 125 so basically just decrease the scale by 20 percent so let's, again let's break down how to create this effect so let's go to the beginning right here so we'll go one two three four five six seven eight so after eight frames you start the effect and then you go one two frames you have the next clip show up and then one two frames right here and then you can hold the effect for as long as you want and that's basically how you create the effect it's definitely a really cool interesting effect and of course you can adjust the duration you can adjust the scale um i definitely think this effect may work more better on like vertical videos than it does on horizontal videos but i still think this effect definitely looks really cool again i've never really i've seen, I've seen this effect a lot but I, I don't think i've ever seen a tutorial on how to create this effect so hopefully you're in the same boat i am in you've seen this effect a lot but you've never seen a tutorial hopefully you're watching this tutorial now and now you understand how to create this effect i think it's a really cool really interesting really unique effect it's an effect that you probably won't use a lot but i'm sure there'll be some circumstances where this effect will definitely be really useful i personally like this effect and i hope you also like this effect and if you don't then you don't but i think this effect is pretty cool and again you could you you could do you can make this effect however you want you can take your own case spin on it you don't have to do exactly the way I did it um 
you can kind of create a different version of this effect but i just i just think this effect is so so cool so we'll just call it the repeating frames for right now until i come up with a better name right here of course by the time this video is out you'll see if i ch if i change the name in the um, title or the thumbnail but for right now we'll call it the repeating frame effect or the shrinking frame effect again i have no idea what to name this effect um, so i guess if you have any suggestions go ahead and leave it down in the comments below but of course like i said before you'll see the title and the thumbnail and maybe i'll change the name completely and it will no longer be the repeating frames effect only time will tell with that being said that is what the effect looks like i think it looks really really cool so anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 120 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.